Health officials across the metro are uh, warning schools against winter sports. Especially basketball and wrestling where social distancing, it's basically impossible. Yeah, it really is. Our Abigail James is live this morning at St. Luke's Hospital. She talked with doctors about this very situation. And Abby, what did you learn from them? Well, I talked with Dr. Andrew Slatcher here at St. Luke's Hospital, and he said that he trusts our local government and uh, as well as our school districts. And I asked him what his advice to parents would be who are trying to weigh the decision of allowing their, their uh, whether or not to allow their, their kids to participate in winter sports. And here's what they had to say. I think parents, just like they've had to do with choosing whether or not to go to school or Cub, Cub Scouts or outdoor soccer, need to weigh for each individual their risks and benefits over the concerns over not being involved in these activities and the ramifications versus what are the risks within a community and a family regarding spread that may occur from an asymptomatic young adult. Now, the Olathe, Shawnee Mission, Blue Valley, Lee Summit, and DeSoto districts all plan to move forward with winter sports. Kansas City Public Schools, one of the few districts where students are learning online only this fall, also are only allowing practices and games, though without spectators. We did reach out to several school districts regarding their decisions to continue on with winter sports. Lee Summit did get back to us. They said that they have already begun winter sports. They say the district will continue implementing risk reduction precautions as well as allowing spectators in accordance with Jackson County orders. Now, the Olathe School District says they plan to move forward while following all mitigation protocols and working closely with the Johnson County Health Department. Now, as we know, there are some school districts who began fall sports uh, this year and then they had to uh, end and because of COVID cases. Now, all school districts say that they are uh, prepared to do that should any outbreaks occur. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. It's going to be an interesting winter. Mm -hmm. Abigail, thank you.